So Arisha, we know that Hollywood's a tough industry to be in. Yeah. And for a <laughs> lot of people, one of the tougher things about it is dealing with dicks. <sighs> yeah, and they seem to be extra dicky <laughs> in the industry, I feel the like. The people and the dicks. Yep. Honestly. Yep. So exactly. Rebel Wilson is opening up about a bad experience that she had with one high profile comedian. And it was so bad for her that she is singling him out as a major asshole, her words, in her new book. Yeah, I got to say, I'm here for it because Rebel's actually naming names. None of yeah. this like anonymous the person or I know. this guy. Um, and this guy. if you can believe it, he's not happy about it. I, I'm shocked. <laughs> From Wondery, I'm Brooke Ziffrin. And I'm Arisha Skinner Williams. It's Tuesday, March 26th. And you're listening to Rich and Daily. Rebel Wilson made a name for herself in movies like Bridesmaids and the Pitch Perfect franchise. She was really a standout in, I mean, obviously Pitch Perfect, of course. But even in Bridesmaids, like there's so many funny people in Bridesmaids. And, yeah. you know, she yeah. doesn't have a big part, but she funny. has a memorable part. And she that's does. how you know someone's good at their craft. Yes, absolutely. Um, and now she's adding author to her resume. So she's written a memoir called Rebel Rising, which is supposed to drop on April 2nd. But even though her book hasn't been released yet, it's already making headlines. This happens all the time when people write books. Yeah, uh, it's almost one... like it's planned. I know. What? PR uh, wheels are really <laughs> churning right now. <laughs> so this one is making headlines mostly because of a video that she posted on Instagram. And that video teases a pretty juicy chapter in the book. So Rebel posted the video on March 15th. The Ides of March. Mm, anyone beware. keeping track? Yeah. Uh, and in the video, she says that when she first came to Hollywood, she heard industry people say they had a no asshole policy on set. Which kind of gives, like, I have an open door policy, but then the door is closed all the time. <laughs> it's like, of course we have a no asshole yeah. policy, but then there's assholes everywhere. like Everywhere. Yeah. Um, but Rebel thought that, you know, that policy sounded sensible and logical. It does. Yeah. yeah. But then she says she learned the hard way why that policy is so important. It really sunk in what they were meaning by that older people in the industry. Because I worked with a massive asshole. And yeah, now I definitely have a no assholes policy. Um, the chapter on said asshole is chapter 23. That guy was a massive asshole. This is really good promo, though. I know. <laughs> I got to run into an asshole so I can put them in my book. You haven't run into one yet? I have, but one no one cares about. Every other asshole I run into, no one's going to care about Joe Schmo asshole on the street. I could write a hundred chapter book, each one about a new asshole. <laughs> Too bad you don't read. That sucks. I can still write, though. I don't have to read my own book. You got to edit it. Okay, so, yeah. but in the caption of the video, Rebel did add, oh, and yes, I name the asshole, which is mm -hmm. truly the best part about all of this. Yeah. So Rebel doesn't name the specific asshole in that video. But apparently she got his attention because Rebel posted a follow-up Instagram story and wrote, said asshole is trying to threaten me. He's hired a crisis PR manager and lawyers. He's trying to stop any press from coming out about my book. So Rebel assured people that when the book comes out, everyone will know the truth. But it looks like we don't have to wait for the release of the book because Bless yesterday up. Rebel revealed the name of the massive asshole on her Instagram story and Rebel wrote, I will not be bullied or silenced with high-priced lawyers or PR crisis managers. The asshole that I'm talking about in one chapter of my book is Sasha Baron Cohen. There it is. So we don't have an advanced copy of the book, so we don't know what specifically Rebel writes about Sasha in her book. But in an old interview she gave on the Australian radio program, The Kyle and Jackie O Show, she did talk about working with him on the 2016 comedy, The Brothers Grimsby. So during that interview, she called Sasha outrageous and laughed about his behavior on set. Mm -hmm. And she said that while they were working together, he kept suggesting that she get naked for a scene in the movie. Now, Rebel said she told him no over and over again and that she even threatened to call their shared agent to say he was <laughs> harassing her. It's like, Mom. I know. Like, <laughs> stop. Also, that's just... <sighs> 
That is so. Uh, one no should be enough. I know. Like, that was a big thing my dad was like with us whenever we were like messing around, my brothers and me. If one of us said no, he was like, one no, that's all you need to hear. That means no. Yeah. Didn't work for us, but. (laughs) I've worked with a director who's on several occasions wanted me to be topless in like a horror film. And every and time I'm like, filming. no, yeah. just like at the party, just for stuff. the table read. He was like, I don't know why you must have your shirt on, but take it off. <laughs> but it's like, dude, no. Yeah. Like, this yeah. film it's... doesn't even pay. You and get most my of the time, money makers it out? doesn't it doesn't add, to add it. anything. Like exactly. if it wasn't like that in the movie, like I look at movies where it's like there's nudity or yeah. some like ridiculous thing. And it's like it doesn't add to it. No, not at all. So for Grimsby, eventually the movie did get a body double for the nudity. But then Rebel said Sasha came up with another idea that was even more outrageous. This guy needs to chill. Mm-hmm. And he's like, Rebel, can you just stick your finger up my butt? What? This and guy's went, got the hots for you. I don't know. I went, what do you mean, Sasha? Like, that's not in the script. And he's like, look, I'll just pull down my pants. You just stick your finger up my butt. <laughs> It'll be a really funny bit. And I'm like, Sasha, no. They should have gotten your friend from the gym. <laughs> that old lady, she loves sticking her finger up Yeah, she butts. did stick her finger up my butt. Yeah, that's yeah. true. God. For free. Like, yeah, her and her. I know her whole life story. <laughs> my God. Um, so for the record, no fingers did go up Sasha's butt during filming that we know of. During filming. Yeah. Um, Rebel told the radio host that she agreed to slap him on the ass as a compromise because she didn't want to be thought of as a diva. The only diva so here is often. somebody being like, put your finger up my butt. Well, I'm like, couldn't they have just cheated that or like pretended like her finger was up his butt? Like, I don't understand. They didn't have that kind of cinematography <laughs> skills back in 2016. Back in 2016. <laughs> it was such a different time. Yeah. Graphics so... have really come a long way. <laughs> yeah. Um, so it sounds like Rebel, you know, tried to have a sense of humor about working with Sasha back then. That's just her personality. Like, you can tell she's yeah. like, oh, Sasha, whatever. Well, and also, like, I feel like that's was also very common, like, especially with women yeah. in the industry where it's like they did something they were uncomfortable with. And when they're talking about it, it's like, ha, ha, ha. And then it's because right. it's like you don't want to be seen as, time, oh, look yeah. at the stick in the mud. Look at this person who can't go with a joke, yeah. even though it makes you uncomfortable or violates you in some way. It's right. stupid. It is stupid. Um, And now nobody's laughing, including Sasha, Mm -hmm. because not long after Rebel posted her Instagram story about him, he released a statement through his spokesperson that sounds nothing like Sasha Baron Cohen. Why? Because it doesn't say my wife? My wife. The statement says, while we appreciate the importance of speaking out, these demonstrably false claims are directly contradicted by extensive detailed evidence including contemporaneous documents, film footage, and eyewitness accounts from those present before, during, and after the production of The Brothers Grimsby. Can I get a medal? I got that in one take. Yeah. There's so many multisyllabic words in here. It's too much. <laughs> well, you did Lawyers forget the PS. To stop. That was like, wah, wah, wee, wah. No, <laughs> stop you it. You forgot that part. <laughs> you will never get this. Oh, God. So, Richie's, we don't know what evidence Sasha is talking about or who those eyewitnesses might be. I'm guessing Sasha's like opening up the payroll to find them and give them money to claim they saw <laughs> like, something that wasn't true. Who was on this set? <laughs> no. um, and so far, no one else from the movie has come forward to talk about Sasha's alleged behavior. Yeah. Um, but usually stuff like this, you just give it a couple more weeks. And I know other people are going to be like, oh, actually, I know I am interested to see if anybody else. Yeah. From that movie specifically says anything. Yeah. But also every movie that yeah. he's been in, you know? Yeah. Um, so Rebels Name and Names, we now know that she thought Sasha was an asshole. What do you think about all this? I think for the first time in my life, and I think this is just because I'm now so jaded, I'm not surprised. <laughs> like, at no. this point, tell me anybody's name and I'll be like, okay, I'm, sh- I'm sure they are an asshole. Were you at that valet event where he was there with no. Isla Fisher? You weren't there. No, I don't think so. That wasn't the one with... um. Uh, Jessica Alba yelling at her husband it was. for being drunk. Well, it was oh. the same house. Was it the same party? Then yeah, I don't know. I was there. Same person, oh. but we did a couple parties there, so I don't know. And he was like really nice to us, but obviously that doesn't mean shit. <laughs> you know, know, like we were. Know. But yeah, I it's it's interesting. I can see that. Like he he could. Yeah. I could see him coming off as an asshole. Like yeah. 
And even if other people from the set are like, well, he was nice to me. It's like, I but know, that that's doesn't important. dismiss her experience with yeah. him. So, like, yeah. we say this all the time, so. And I mean, I think, like, kind of like threading a needle here, but I think it's, you know, there are a lot of assholes out there. And it's not a crime to be an asshole. Should be. It's not. And it's just like, <laughs> you know, yeah. it's just, it's interesting. I'm curious to know how he found out about this i mean i guess there had to be like clearance maybe to mention him because it's like how did he know that it was him she was referring to i thought i read somewhere that she told him she dedicated a chapter to him but i don't yeah. know if well, i misread that or i just i gotta say like you must be a huge asshole to get a whole chapter dedicated to you <laughs> and maybe yeah. it's time to just you know face the music it's a bed you made you gotta lay in it it's mm -hmm. such a big bed that Rebel was like, I'm not even releasing this during the year of celebrity memoirs. I know. And breakups. And breakups. <laughs> yeah. Um, I don't know. I am really interested to see what happens. But I also think that it's so crazy that the world we live in now, we're like, well, he was just an asshole. It's not as bad as like some of the other I things know. we've heard. Like, Because I'm always it's you're always waiting for it to be like so much worse. I know. It's like, oh, he just yelled at her. OK, thank God. And that's awful. That's I know. an awful way to look at how yeah. people behave. He was just terrible and wanted his wanted a finger in his butt, you know? Like oh, it's so innocent so and innocuous. <laughs> I know. God, the world we live in is terrible. The world is just getting worse and worse. Yeah. God, from Wondery, I'm Brooke Ziffrin. <laughs> and I'm Arisha Skidmore Williams. This is Rich and Daily. See you tomorrow, Richies. If you like our show, please follow us on Apple Podcasts, Amazon Music, or wherever you're listening right now. Be sure to follow us on all socials at Arisha Skidmore Williams and at Brooke Ziffrin. We love to connect with you.